Hey guys, it's Milma here and welcome to a new tutorial series. Uh, this is how to make a game series. It's a brand new series and yes, it's finally here. We're going to learn how to make a game in Xcode. This has probably been one of the most requested tutorial series ever, so it's finally here. Um, and what we're going to be using to help us make our game is something called Cocos 2D. Now what Cocos 2D is, is basically a load of classes, a load of files, that will basically help us make the game and these files are you know they just me they're very efficient at making a game within seconds you can have a character walking around the screen rather than with normal Xcode it will take quite a while to do that so what we're going to do is actually install a new template for Xcode now what a template is in Xcode is basically um, you know when you create a new project and you can choose from a Windows based application a tab tab bar application, a table view application, they're templates, they start you off with some automatic code that will help you carry on. So we're going to install a Cocos 2D template, which is similar to the tab, you know, tab bar templates, except it will start us off with a, a game instead. Well, a kind of half game that you need to complete with your own things. So uh, to do that, we're going to need to download it. So we're going to go over to this link here which is the Cocos 2D site, which is cocos2d-iphone.org forward slash download. Uh, link will be in the description. So what we're going to do is find these stable versions and you're going to download the the latest one. As you can see, there's 2.0 here or 1.0. We want 2.0. So if you want to follow along with me, you can download 2.0. Uh, you can download 1.0. It's perfectly stable. It's just got a, a few less features. So we're going to download 2.0. And when you've downloaded it and extracted the tarball, you're going to find a file like this. Now this file contains all of the classes and what we need to do is turn those classes into a template and then put the template into Xcode. So the easiest way of doing that is via terminal. So what we're going to need to do is open up terminal here. I uh, will create a new shell. Uh, so, is, so we'll open up terminal. We'll have our you know, Cocos 2D folder on our desktop. And what we're going to need to do is type in CD and then space and then drag in your folder. So when you've done that, you're then going to click enter. So now what that line has done is told Terminal to go inside this folder here. So now we're inside this Cocos 2D folder. Now inside this folder is a, a, a shell or a, basically a shell script that will turn everything in there into a template and then put it in Xcode for us so we don't have to do anything. So this script is called install templates so we're going to type in dot and then slash and then install oops, install templates dot sh and then dash f. You must make sure there's a space here so space dash f. Um, so make sure everything here is typed out correctly including this full stop here and then the slash otherwise it won't work at all and um, when you type that up we're going to click enter as you can see it does its things it starts installing all the things it's installed templates upon templates upon templates so when that is completed it should say done with an exclamation mark at the end here and when when it's done that's it <laughs> you've now uh, installed the Cocos 2D templates. So just to show you it works, I'm going to open up Xcode here and create a new project. Oh, already created one for me. So normally, when you create a new project, um, you will see stuff like this: master detail application, tab application. These are templates. So what we've done here is installed new Cocos 2D templates. As you can see in the iOS section down here, we have Cocos 2D. Now ignore this one here. That's my old one, so ignore that. You should have this, or something similar to this. And you'll have three things here you can select from. And when you double click, you create a new Cocos 2D project. Now, I'm gonna stop here, and that's all for next tutorial, when I'm gonna explain all the new things that come with this. Because when you create a new template, you're probably gonna be really confused because it's gonna look completely different. Don't worry, that's what the next tutorial's for. So check down here for the next tutorial on explaining the most useful classes in, Xco uh, in Cocos 2D and explaining what all these three different templates do. So thanks for watching this very first tutorial in making a game. Continue on with the series and hopefully we should complete the series with a, a brand new game that we can then play on our iPhones. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. 
Uh, follow me on Twitter at Failcake Apps if you want to keep up with the latest details. So, yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.